Hello, Leah. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing. So this is your uh, general general love reading for uh, July. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reader. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course. And vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to check out um, or jump, jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. So if you look in the comment section, you'll see where it says start reading. Click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer see me shuffle on camera. So I'm going to just take these in offline or off camera. Um, clarify them as well and I will be. All right, so Leah, let's start the reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. Just put that on. Um, I'm picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch, whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so I'm going to say, you know, there's this sometimes in, you know, we go through things in life as well as relationships. Um, and we tend to think, you know, why are we going through this? Why are we going through this? And, we, you know, we're kicking and screaming. And for the, but usually it's because that's the best way you needed to know something. You needed to realize something. And that's definitely what's going on here. So let me explain. Seems like in the past, you know, you kind of was focusing on what, working on maybe just, just work in terms of your career in order to provide, because uh, we do have that six of pentacles there. Um, doesn't have to be work, but it's definitely something that contributes to this relationship. Or so you feel, you feel, you feel like it kind of, contributes it allows you to be able to give to this um relationship this person this connection in some way so there was this definite focus on that with that with the eight of pentacles there We've still got the eight of pentacles here as well because you're wanting to maintain what you've established what you feel you've established um because you have established something there's something that is going right there's things that are going right maybe you know, you have given you both a really nice life. Maybe that's because you've worked. But so for so a lot of you, it could be work related. But whatever it is, it, you've established something. You know, you've provide, been able to provide maybe for, for you both a really nice life. And that in itself kind of makes you happy. It makes you feel good. You know, it makes you feel like It's something that maybe you should do for a lot of you. You know, it makes you feel like this is something that should be done, or you, 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 there's a level of maturity around this, or something that you know should be done. Maybe if this is finances, um, it's this feeling of, you know, I, and you're the provider. It's this feeling of, you know, I've got to work to provide for my family, to provide for my person, provide for us both, and that's my responsibility. It's that King of Cups energy because you love this person this is someone that you you love where with them it was this yes there is this acknowledgement that you guys have established something yeah something that you've established that you both feel good about with that king of pentacles there but there was something that they were keeping from you the seven and it's to do with them lacking something Something has come to or came to an end for them. And it, it kind of gives me the impression that this person has possibly spoken to you or at least attempted to speak to you about it in the past. Something maybe you're walking to, maybe you was walking too much and this person just wanted to spend more time with you. They've spoken to you about it. Nothing changed because we do have that seven, which talks about having put work into something, but not it not, you know, going as planned or it still not materializing. So they've attempted whatever it is 
but it kind of came to a point for them where it's there's, there's been some form of ended. So they were taking this, they was taking that as a loss. There was a loss there. I don't feel like they was sharing it with you at that time while they was going through um, all of that. You might have just felt this shift in them, you know, them being a bit maybe defensive. But for some of you, they could have communicated that with you as well. They could have with that eight of cups there. Sorry, the eight of wands, eight of wands. So right now, it seems like there has been this um, shift in this person. You know, this person is starting to focus maybe on... I'm going to use the word change up. This person is starting to change up in some way. You know, and you're kind of showing up as the seven, which talks about standing your ground. So it seems like you're like... And, you know, I, I get it. It seems like you're, you're really kind of trying to maybe explain to this person or express that whatever it is that was taking you away from them or whatever it is that you was work, working on it was to to contribute to the relationship like I said for some of you it's work so if it is that it's like what you know I was working because you know I needed money to provide for us to have this lifestyle you know I care about you my you know that's how I show I care and that's what I felt my role is and that's what I thought I should do. So that's you kind of defending yourself, trying to communicate with this person with the um, eight of wands there, but not really yeah, this burden there with the 10 of wands there, wanting to fix this, wanting to mend this, noticing that there's been a change, a change in this person. Like I said, it kind of changed up in some way. There's been a change up in some way. Um, so now it's like they're hot and cold, maybe bread crumbing you. Um, they have this back and forth type of space, waiting for something, waiting for something. There's a nine. The nine talks about you know stress, worry. They're still feeling that, regardless of the first, they might not be showing it, but wanting to make, remain in control. Yeah, so they've changed up in some way. Now maybe this person is going out a lot more as well. With the nine of pentacles that supports that as well. Wanting a solution. You know, wanting a solution to um, that fulfillment, that Ten of Cups. Because it's not to say that, yeah, okay, we don't have a lot of cups here, but it's not to say that this person doesn't have feelings, because if they did, they wouldn't feel worried and stressed about this to some degree. It's more about them seeing this as not working because they've attempted at something and it's not worked. It really hasn't worked. Um, and it's left you in confusion. You've got, you're kind of confused at the moment. There's a bit of confusion there. Definitely. You're wanting to ignore and not face the fact that there, this has come to some form of ending or this is, it could possibly end. Want an opportunity to get this back on track. Um, but there is this lack of clarity around this. But like I said at the beginning, you know, well, the, the experiences we go through we need to go through sometimes because that's the only way we learn how to wake up and see something. And that's exactly where this moves to. You kind of wake up and see something um, with that wheel of fortune, which changes things. So we're going to move into the extended version of the reading. Link is in the comments section, guys. So click on that. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Bye.